I'm walking along the very edge of our planet. So we've made it up onto Greenland's ice sheet. Take a look. I mean, it's just incredible. It's a bit like kind of an ice desert. Where just below my feet, a transformation is taking place. An important change, gaining pace, which promises to turn all of our lives upside down. Nestled between the Arctic and the Atlantic Oceans, Greenland, which is normally a frozen wonderland, is, along with the rest of the Arctic, warming faster than anywhere else on Earth. The ice melt causing oceans to rise and making global climate systems more unpredictable. The Arctic is the engine room of the climate system of the Earth. The situation is now even more dire. Last month, for the first time in recorded history, rain fell on Greenland's summit, raising alarm bells for climate scientists. This is Greenland's ice sheet. It makes up something like 85% of the whole of Greenland. Where we're standing, the ice is something like 60 meters thick. In some places, it's as thick as two miles. What's your head? Our destination, the Russell Glacier, one of the most studied places on the planet when it comes to climate change. These stunning turquoise melt lakes are harbinger of the retreating ice sheet. Marine scientist Carlos Duarte is my guide for this expedition. Why is Greenland so important when it comes to understanding climate change and why does it affect people at home? Now half of the rate of sea level rise comes from the melting of the Greenland ice sheet. And the Greenland ice sheet is on average about one kilometer thick of, uh, of uh, ice and that is melting at very, right, uh, very rapid uh, rates. Just in one year, the amount of fresh water released by the Greenland ice sheet is enough to cover the whole of England with two meters of water. Oh, Florida. Oh, Florida, with two meters of water, <laughs> absolutely. If Greenland continues to melt at this pace, scientists expect tens of millions of people around the world to face more frequent flooding and displacement by 2030. That's just nine years from now. That's because the ice in the Arctic is crucial in regulating the temperatures of the world reflecting more than 90% of the sun's heat back into the atmosphere. But when the ice turns to water and these blue lakes, that sun is absorbed rather than reflected, and that speeds up the melt. Here we go, the research begins. Critical research means getting up close to and spending extended time with the glacier. Scientists spend their days and nights on this often unwelcoming ice cap, taking the readings that inform us all. So this is where we slept, right out here, right on the ice. I can tell you it is cold, but uh, what an experience, right? Sleeping on this ice, which is something like 30,000 years old. That's incredible. Life here is rugged, to say the least. But some superstar adventurers are using Greenland's extreme topography to make a statement about climate change. Extreme E is an all-electric super truck race with an Earth-first mission statement, shining a light on environmental crises. From desert dunes to ocean beaches, Extreme E goes around the world on this specially kitted out ship to make tackling climate change cool. And today, they're here in Greenland, racing to shine a light on the country's disappearing landscape. You can see the, the Russell Glacier in the background. Ali Russell is one of Extreme E's top executives. And unfortunately, it's melting. And it's melting much quicker than any of us would like. And so what we've done is we've brought a major motorsport series to Greenland as a TV-only product to demonstrate what technology can do, what we can do with electric technology, and how we can inspire people to take action on climate change. That's the key here. These engines, powered not by diesel or gas, but liquid hydrogen, a cutting-edge fuel that could change the way we all drive in the future. So this is fueling the whole thing. This is where the energy comes yes. from. 
Yes. What's really interesting is hydrogen is 100% clean, and you know we've got green hydrogen. So we actually make our hydrogen on site using oh, solar panels. Using solar panels. So so the energy from the Arctic sun is creating green hydrogen, and then we charge the cars using green hydrogen. And the only byproduct that we have from that is water, which we then use to wash the cars. So we have this oh, this I circular see. sort of effect here. American off-road champion Sarah Price usually drives monster trucks. Right, here we go. But now races across riverbeds and sand dunes in her souped-up electric car. You come from the old world, such all gas guzzlers. Yes. Is this the new world? Yeah, electrification is the future. That's what we're here doing. We're racers, and we're loving every little bit of the electric world that we're entering, and we've been involved with this Extreme E. And even better, to give awareness to climate change and all these amazing things that we stand for racing a series. The message here, that this place is not only worth protecting, but doing so is critical for all of us. And scientists around the world say it's not too late to change course. In fact, Professor Duarte is studying ways to reverse and stop global climate change. And he says the signs of it are all around us. The answer, he says, could be in the mud beneath the ice. We're starting a exploratory research to evaluate the potential of the sediment, the mud that is uh, discharging the, from the ice sheet. That mud, he hopes, is chemically unique and can trap carbon. His proposal, transfer massive amounts of this special mud into the ocean to keep it from releasing more climate warming carbon into the atmosphere. It's almost like the earth is giving you the medicine it needs. You just have to go and yes. find it. You just have to go and find it. What happens in the Arctic does not stay in the Arctic. It affects and cascades the whole of the world. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.